no matter how hard we overthink all the conditions involved in fishing, sometimes all it is is the color. Having the right color is super important in small water fishing. Sometimes putting on a new color can look like a completely different bait to those fish. So it can be about having the right color instead of the right bait. The color lineup we're gonna be breaking down today is for the Cotton Cordell Big O Crankbait. The Big O comes in three different sizes. You've got the C76, the C77, and the C78. Now we're gonna be throwing the C78 today, the biggest size, just to magnify the effect those colors have under the water. Because we're throwing a bigger crankbait, that means we're gonna have bigger rattles too to call fish in. That's where the magic happens. Now let's talk about colors. It all starts with the forage these fish are eating. That's what every single color of crankbait you see on the market today is based around. All these crankbaits you see right here, I categorize them into either a brim, perch, or baby bass appearance. We've got white crappie, bluegill, baby bass, green pearl shad, and perch. Oh, there's one. Gosh, hammered that thing. There's a great example for you. All these baits that I just showed you, they all have some type of green pattern in them. That's the one thing they have in common. They'll each have their own individual quirks, but remember, green is good when fishing small waters. Very natural. There he is again. That's crazy. <laughs> Boy, green is just dynamite. Look how similar that green on that crankbait is to that bass. That's exactly what you want right there. So we're gonna switch colors now and talk about another key base of patterns. Because when you're talking about forage in a pond, you can't forget about minnows. The best type of colors to mimic minnows are silver and black base patterns, like chrome black back or smoky joe. There's one. <laughs> High flyer. These minnow patterns work great on super sunny days like today, when that shine can really reflect off the sunlight. These fish can really pick that out in the water. So almost all of these small water ponds are gonna have minnows in them, so they're a pretty safe bet. There's one. <laughs> right up shallow. Nice one. Ah. Oh. All right, so we've talked about the minnow base patterns. Now let's move into something a little bit different. Chartreuse colors. Ha, <laughs> there he is. Loaded up on it. Well, that's a little better one too. Chartreuse is one of the better, better colors you can throw on these ponds for these off-colored waters. Dynamite, dynamite. I mean, they'll, they'll eat this thing up. That's a good fish right there. The reason why these chartreuse crankbaits work so well, when it's muddy or dirty, this chartreuse is going to be what shows up the best. Oh, baby. There he is. Hey, <laughs> chartreuse coming in clutch. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'm going to get a hook in the hand here before the day's, the day's over. Here's a couple of great options for throwing a chartreuse base pattern. I've got oxbow tied on right now, or a fire tiger is another very popular choice. Now that we've caught them on the chartreuse colors, let's talk about crawfish. Now there's a lot of crawfish colors out there. That's because crawfish will actually change colors throughout the year. In the winter time, crawfish will molt their skins into an orangish red color. Colors like olive craw and plain crawdad will work the best. But right now, we're fishing in the summertime when crawfish have turned back to more of a brownish green color. This natural crawdad color depicts that perfectly. 
Keep in mind, crawfish are bottom dwellers, so you'll want to make full-on contact with the bottom with this crankbait. Gosh. Yeah, not bad. Look at him, I hooked him in the back. That's funny. <laughs> because it's a crawfish, you know, they'll, they'll just kind of bump at it, and sometimes those hooks will stick you and you'll end up with the fish. The last bait we're going to talk about, just a plain white crankbait. Call it Old Faithful, Pearl Red Eye. It might look stupidly simple, but this is one of the all-time greats. It works especially well in clear water or on cloudy and rainy days. There he is. <laughs> I knew he was right there. That's a good one. Well, I load up on it too. There's just something about this white flash in the water that these guys can't resist. Shad aren't as common in small ponds like this, but if you do have shad, there's no better color than pearl white red eye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and in the comments below, I want you to tell me what your go-to crankbait color is.